Hi, I'm Jacob, and this is my review of the Bouge RV uh, 600 watt Yuma solar panel. I received this panel uh, from Bouge RV in order to do a video review on it. Um, I have a lot of solar panels. Um, I've tested a lot. This is probably the best performing one uh, that I've ever gotten, and I'll go over why the pros and cons um, of this type of panel. Um, First off, it produces a ton of power. Uh, normally solar panels like this one, it's rated at 100 watts. You're gonna see max 80 watts um, in pretty perfect conditions. This one I've seen up to 105 watts um, and it's not even, and that wasn't even in absolutely perfect conditions. I might be able to see even higher, um, but that is something that normally it just, it, it's lab, uh, results is how they rate them so 100 watt panel yeah you see 80 this one you see the full amount that's super cool um it has great performance in shade better than any other solar panel i've tested um even if it's partially shaded you're still going to produce power i'll show you uh, the results i got but it is very impressive and then this panel you can roll up um literally roll it and it doesn't break you can step on it um these things are rated like uh you know the normal panels that you get the glass ones the heavy rigid ones uh those are supposed to last for 25 years this one as well a lot of the other the old technology um panels that flex a little bit like this well one they won't flex nearly as much but they are only really going to last you a few years five years if you're lucky these things will last that is super cool um the whole thing is just really well built um so it's sigs technology i can't remember what that stands for but it's basically a different type of chemistry that they use that works really well and it has bypass diodes for each of these cells um so if it's shaded unlike another panel where if it's shaded a lot it just turns off it doesn't produce any power this one will bypass a cell that's shaded and still produce power um and like i said i'll show you how that works but that's something very very impressive to me um, and you can get them in one or 200 watts from bouge rv this is the model that has tape on the back so you can uh, just take off this film and it's sticky tape and you can stick it to whatever you want it'll be very solid you can also get them with grommets at the sides if that's how you want to install yours um, i'm going to put this one on my camper van in a place where it's going to get partial shade um, but i'm still going to get power because of this and i wouldn't get that with other panels now the downsides to this panel um it's not much honestly i would say the only real downside is it's a little more expensive but when you consider that you actually get more watts from this panel than another one um that makes sense to me also it's a tiny bit bigger uh i'd say probably 20 percent bigger than an equivalent uh, 100 watt panel with uh with uh, mono cell technology or or whatever alternative one you have so a little bit bigger a little bit more extensive but it produces more power so i i see it as a absolute win if this is the type of panel or i mean if you're getting solar panels and especially where i think this is really valuable if you have a van or an overlanding rig and you have to put it on you can install this like at like this if you want to put it over something it's still going to work um you can install it where it's going to be partially shaded uh you can and another thing is you know let's say you're running an air conditioner or you're trying to keep cool um in your rig you can park in the shade or a partial shade and still get power to your solar panels and i think that is something huge um i'm so impressed with this i have not had a panel uh that works like that um it has a nice box here totally waterproof don't have to worry about water getting in um it uses the uh mc4 connector so that's two of these i put on a thing uh to just attach it to my power bank that's going to depend what you're you know doing for my van i'll just i use mc4 so it's fine uh, but yeah you can do it flat you can curve it you can step on it um it's like this and let's see what i'm still getting 13 watts out of it um and when i put it you know back 
uh, not even totally flat, it's a little bit angled, um, I'm up to 85 watts. Um, and like I said, I've seen 105, which that just blew my mind. So I'm going to show you uh, different, you know, situations, partially shaded compared to some other panels. But I love this thing. I would highly recommend it. So just want to show how impressive this is. I'm getting 100 watts. I've seen it spike up to 105. Um, it's pretty optimal sun time, but there is a little bit of shade and I have it angled. Um, so that here let me so that it's not quite even straight on you can see there's some clouds over the sun just a little bit but i've never had a solar panel that gets uh that good like usually a 100 watt panel is going to get something like 80 watts um best case scenario that this is getting over a hundred is incredible so doing a little shade test uh probably like quarter of the panel covered up normally wouldn't be getting any power from a normal solar panel um, and I am getting uh, 28 watts still um, which isn't bad at all for that amount of shade pretty impressive like and that's why I think these are better uh, when you're using them in conditions that are partially shaded so this is uh, an older 100 watt panel but right now same conditions angled I'm getting 21 watts of off of it um i mean it's a little older so it is what it is but that's crazy so here's a 200 watt folding panel that i have it's angled same conditions i'm getting 135 watts out of it right now so only 30 more watts from that much bigger and heavier of a panel um very impressive <laughs> And when I'm shading a quarter of that panel, probably less than a quarter, I am getting 19 watts. Um, and that's a 200 watt panel as opposed to the uh, Six uh, Fuge RV panel. Um, almost, well, actually, the Six is getting more in the shade, and it's 100 compared to a 200 watt panel. Um, so, in the shade, really drastically better performance. So probably 75% of the panel is shaded. It should be totally dead um, and still getting 13 watts. It's hard to see, but um, yeah, awesome. Panel up curved and, you know, not at an angle facing the sun. And that's more drastic than you'd ever see, um, I think, in real life mounting i guess unless you have a really crazy place to mount it um but i am getting 37 38 watts right now off of that um that's pretty cool i'm not going to stomp on it even though i've seen people doing it but you can walk on these things and uh you're going to not break it much more impressive than you know other different type of uh chemistry panels that are the flat ones and uh, much better than the glass covered. Overall, this is an amazing panel. Um, if you are looking for a solar panel um, and there's any chance you need one that can work in the shade, can curve, uh, I would 100% recommend it.